It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Bucks and the Ravens coming up next. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. First and ten, here's Brady. And a first hookup with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. Now Brady. He finds his target, it's Evans. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Seven yards to pick up there. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Brady going to find Jones here out of the backfield. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. It was Chuck Clark coming up to make the tackle. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here's a throw caught by Gronkowski. Brady on target to Gronk. First down, Buccaneers. And there's a familiar sight. Rob Gronkowski making a catch for a first down. And remember, Gronk said he was done in 2019, was out of football after retiring from the Patriots. But Brady asked if he'd run it back with him in Tampa. And he answered the call. Brock earned his fourth ring with the win in Super Bowl 55, a game in which he scored two touchdowns. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. They go back to the ground with Jones. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. To throw is Brady. He finds his tight end, Howard. That's complete. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. A gain of six there on first. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, I, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Throwing his Brady on third down. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Anthony Averitt picks it. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 22. They'll run it for the first time with Williams. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Jackson on first down. 
That's taken in by Duvernay. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. They go play action with Jackson on the move to his left. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Gus Edwards the one he was looking for. And that takes us from second to third down. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Jackson from the shotgun steps away to his left. Now he'll square up and throw deep left sideline. And that is incomplete. Many times when a play breaks down and the quarterback's moving around outside of the pocket, you're thinking, just get rid of something short. But a lot of guys are coached, think deep, take the big shot, hoping someone can get lost behind the secondary. They weren't able to connect on that one. And got his man complete. Touchdown. Devin Duvernay, 59 yards. And the Ravens have taken the early lead. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and there's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. It'll be a touchback. The ball brought out to the 25 as Mickens will not return it. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? And Brady's throw there, incomplete. Here's second and ten. Working from the gun, it's Brady. That is caught, it's Chris Godwin. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, and he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. From the gun, it's Brady. And that will be incomplete. The one with the dive look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. On oh, is the punt team now as this one sent away. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play there, second down. Jackson now down around his goal line. It's complete to Brown, right side. Room here to run. And he takes it all the way up to the 45-yard line. Now this is something that we saw quite a bit at Oklahoma, and we'll be seeing it more and more on the NFL level as well. Marquise Brown going Hollywood. Play action. Now Jackson. 
And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. He was looking for his tight end, Mark Andrews, there. And now it's second down. Here's Hill. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. Jackson. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. Shaquille Barrett, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. To try again after the sack. Jackson flushed out right. He finds his man complete. It's Gray. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Jackson looking to throw on third. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped it to one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now here's Hill, and he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. Justice Hill taking it in from a yard out, and the Ravens go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. It'll be a touchback. The ball brought out to the 25 as Mickens will not return it. Now the Buccaneer offense set to take over again. In the first half, that really has not been kind to them. A late opportunity here to maybe make some inroads on this deficit before half. And this drive's going to go a long way towards telling us whether they actually have a chance to come all the way back in this game or not. And the drive starts with a completion, left side. And shutting him off, now open field. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 39 yards the distance covered on the catch and run. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. And that, in a nutshell, shows you what this guy is made of. I mean, most guys in the NFL just can't do that. He absorbed the contact, refocused himself, and made a break for the end zone. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Brady going to throw. Goes right side, complete to Gronk. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Three yards the game there, second down. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL, but just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Again, it's Brady. And this is going to be incomplete. Fine work by the Baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down. And Suckup will put this one right through. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong line of work, aren't you? <laughs> you got to find a way to unlock yeah. the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. 
And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Raven offense going to take over late in this first half. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. That is caught by Josh Oliver, the former San Jose State Spartan. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they stop him with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Jackson to throw. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Now it's Jackson. Got him in. It's Brown. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 37. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. This will be caught once again by Brown. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. The Marquise Brown is definitely a guy who can take the top off of the defense and make the big catches downfield. Also known as Hollywood, now in his third season from Oklahoma, wants to make more catches like the one we just saw there, the routine variety. He'll get that out wide to Duvernay. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. So we're at halftime here in the Inner Harbor with the hometown Ravens on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our e And just like that, on we head to half number two. Both teams going back through their game plans, making their final halftime adjustments. And for the call of the second half, we go back up to Baltimore and rejoin Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Raven offense set to start this third quarter. And, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Levante David in on the tackle. Now Dobbins again on second down. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. 
he's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. They go play action now. Jackson. Open man is Duvernay. And running with power here. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. Now Jackson on first down. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially. So he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. From the gun, Jackson. He finds his man complete. That's great. And he'll get nothing out of that one. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. Now Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. That's taken in by Duvernay. And some space here. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 of the 15. One heck of a third down conversion, 33 yards. He's been a one-man dynamo on this drive so far, and you know the other receivers would love to get involved. But right now, his skill and his play has his team in a great position to put six points on the board. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. It's complete, and in for the Ravens touchdown. Marquise Brown. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Tucker with the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns in 21. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Brady now on first down. Throw right side caught by O.J. Howard. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up to throw. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 19. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. And Brady's throw there incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Again, they'll throw with Brady. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. And a catch right side by Evans. 
And the Buccaneers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. But with the score where it is, you're not thinking field goals right now. You need touchdowns. So that was a much-needed conversion there on third down. Here's Brady. Yeah, he's got it. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Brady to throw again. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Buccaneers are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. On the return, Devin Duvernay. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Marquise Brown was the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. Back to Brown, this time complete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Here's Jackson. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. Play action. It's Jackson. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Devin Duvernay, the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. To throw is Jackson. Quick slant to Brown. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. First down and more for Jackson. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. An excellent run of 22 yards on the keeper and also a first down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Three yards the game there, second down. They go play action with Jackson. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Touchdown! That's caught. Lamar Jackson hooking up with Mark Andrews. And the Ravens 
have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because it certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline, and I think this one might just be over. this position trying to get back into the game teams are looking for a spark from their special teams that's not what they got though they got a setback and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board throwing on first down is Brady he completes it to Evans and he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight you got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff right and this is why you work on your tackling Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. To throw again on second down, Brady. And he is going to be taken down. They got him. As that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Patrick Queen in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. This is caught by Evans. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. There's Evans again, complete. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blank at the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. And looking again for Gronkowski. He's got it this time. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. Now the Bucs are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. From the gun, it's Brady. There he goes inside the 30. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. The Bucks passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, Looking for Brown, and he's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Antonio Brown there to make the grab. And the Bucs have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point put through by Suckup, and the lead will be cut down to 14. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. Pass midfield, look out. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down, that leads to a second and ten. Oh, Jackson's going to throw it. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. A big pick up there, without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. We can talk all we want about the 
football being a game of strength and brawn, it's also a game of mismatches. And they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Open man is Duvernay. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeout as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. To throw again is Jackson. They set up the screen to Hill. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. The Bucs forced to use their third and final timeout as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. Keep in mind, they can still get a first down here as they come up on second and inches. Now it's Jackson. And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Ravens will add on to their lead. Well, partner, when a team's up this big, this late in the game, I always wonder what's their motivation because if it's me, I'm thinking about pulling on the reins a little bit. But for them, I don't think it's in their DNA. It's not their head coach's makeup at all. I think his opinion is, you stop us. We're not supposed to pull back ourselves. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. It'll be a touchback. The ball brought out to the 25 as Mickens will not return it. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now, <laughs> you're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here in this last sequence. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw, it's Brady. And this is dropped and incomplete. Well, there's a metaphor for how this one is gone. His time has run out on this ball game. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they can look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you.